Hi guys. So, haven't seen you guys in a while. I decided to make a video because it's quarantine and I'm actually so bored. I don't know what to do with myself. Also, what the heck are you doing there, bud? First of all, uh, my hair is pink. Um, that's all I have to say about that. Second of all, yes, I am wearing pajamas. Third of all, um, let's get started. We're gonna make some quarantine snacks today. I saw this on TikTok, actually. And their account is called COVID-19 underscore boredom underscore rescue. So credit to them for this recipe. I'm gonna try and make it. So we're gonna start with some strawberries. Here's some strawberries. I don't know if I have enough, but we're just gonna hope. Actually, something I might do, since I don't wanna really use all of my fresh strawberries, because I don't wanna be yelled at, I might use some frozen ones. This will just heat it up some frozen ones, so I might do that. So I got a bowl. I'm taking my bag of frozen fruit mix. Yes, I did wash my hands before this. And maybe we'll mix in some raspberries too. That sounds kind of fun. She said use eight ounces. So I don't really have a scale in my house. We're just gonna do like a good amount. Well, those are heating up. I'm gonna take some fresh strawberries like this much and we're gonna wash them. Okay. So next I'm just grabbing a cutting board and a knife. Be careful if you're making this at home because knives are sharp. Okay, so I finished cutting up my strawberries. This is what the bowl looks like. I'm actually not sure if I have enough because she said eight ounces and I don't have anything to measure eight ounces. We're just gonna hope that's enough. You can put it into a blender. Luckily, I do have a blender. Plug it in. I'm gonna plop all my strawberries into this blender. Ew, there's literally so, so mushy. Ugh, it actually feels disgusting. DISGUSTING! <sighs> okay. I'm gonna put this lid on really tight. Okay. I hope it doesn't leak. It's gonna be really loud, you might wanna plug your ears. So update, I didn't really put the lid on enough. So, so update, there's no paper towel. <laughs> okay, so I got, oh, I got some paper towel. I literally saw a demon in my basement while I was down there, but I said hi to him and asked him how his day is going. It's pretty nice actually. This is actually mm, so yummy. Wow, that looks scrumptious. Okay, so I'll be back when it's smooth. Okay, so I got a liquid. I 
hope it's liquidy enough. Right here. Okay. I don't know how what the temperature is supposed to be because she didn't say. So I'm just gonna put it on medium because that seems safe. Then I need sugar. Put the mixture in the saucepan. Does that seem safe? Okay, we're gonna lower the heat. That doesn't sound too good. Three tablespoons of sugar. I got a tablespoon. One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little spoon here and I'm gonna mix it up. So. The next thing you need is lemon juice. And you need one tablespoon of lemon juice. Oh my gosh. I actually can't open that one. Oh, this lighting is cute. Just really looks nice. Okay, finally got it open. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Okay. Next, we're gonna mix that up. Let's see what's next. 10 minutes we're cooking this for. Go. Okay. Whoa. That really exploded out of me. The next 10 minutes, I guess we're just gonna have to Um, we're just gonna have to, uh, clean up. Gotta put this away. And now we gotta dance! Okay, that was a lot of effort, actually. What's another dance? homework right now but I decided I wanted to make fruit roll-ups so that's what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna make oh I saw one for edible cookie dough that one looks fun well like I don't really want to make whipped coffee because that's pretty straightforward so how's your quarantine been So we are currently at three minutes left. I'm gonna give this a quick little stir, see how it's looking. It's not really jello like yet, but it's getting there. Okay, so while I'm waiting for it to become like jam, while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna set up my parchment paper. I'm gonna use this small pan because I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of fruit loops, so. Cut it here. Oh, that wasn't satisfying. So the parchment isn't pretty, but it's 
good enough. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. So it looks like this. I'm actually not sure if it's ready yet. I think I did more than her. I might wanna add a little bit more sugar since I did do so much. Okay, so I think my mixture is done. So I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm editing this video, and you can literally hear an ungodly noise in the background of this clip. Like, no one was home except me and my sister, and that's not a sound that my sister can make. She's literally 12, and it sounded like a grown woman. So, could be a ghost? I don't know. I'm a little freaked out. Yeah, I'm gonna play it again for you. So I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I'm gonna pour it on the parchment paper. Could you grab me a spatula, please? Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so I'm pouring this onto the parchment paper, and then I'm gonna like spread it out, I guess, or. I saw people do this. Like you kind of move it around. You have to put it in the oven after this. This kind of looks good. crusty, but it's fine. Preheat to 170 degrees. That doesn't seem like a lot. <laughs> so Get out! <laughs> You're actually annoying. So, that's we're gonna, smooth. We're gonna wait for the oven to preheat and then we put it in for oh, three to four hours. Uh, no, you're an hour and see how it is. Cause that'd be like, I didn't know, know it was gonna, gonna take that long. long. Okay, well, okay, I'm gonna put this in the oven. Okay. 60 minutes. Okay, see you in 60 minutes. So we're gonna take it out. Kelly is gonna practice some safety here. Alright. That looks pretty nice. I don't know if it's cooked. Let me see. So update right here. It's still sticky. Like I could I could push it in it and it would move. So we're gonna put it in for another hour. Six minutes and go. A few inches later. We just took it out of the oven. It looks like this. Now we're gonna let it cool for like 10 minutes-ish. So I'll see you in 10 minutes. Hi! It's cooked, it's cool. Now we're gonna try and cut it. It looks like this. Now we're gonna try and cut it in very wrinkle and crinkle. <laughs> it looks like bacon. Can you roll it or is it hard? No, it's rolling. Okay, here's one. Okay, we're gonna cut the rest. <laughs> Let me try this. No, um, let's split it. Okay. Uh, but now, yes. It tastes like a really fruity mm. fruit roll up. They're all it's actually good. Mm -hmm. Wherever they go around the hospital. Mm -hmm. This one kind of broke. Roll, roll, roll. That's a good one. Taste test time, like for real. Because these ones have parchment paper on them. Mmm, <laughs> it's good. It's not quite like a fruit roll up, but. It's sweet. It's giving me vibes. It's fun because. It's like a fruit bullet because it's on the parchment. 
That's not ASMR at all. <laughs> Final score, 10 out of 10. These are actually delicious. And I wanted to thank everyone for watching and I hope you make these at home. Just make sure that you start it early in the day because otherwise it's like it takes like five hours in total. So, but they're actually worth it. They're really good and they're super fun and they're super easy. So I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.